going on guys, Gen Z Finance here back with another video. Guys, I promised you my Canadian portfolio stock reveal and here it is, okay? It just came in, well simple, finally traded my account over from TD, so let's get it started. All right, let me just pull this up for you guys real quick. Okay, here we go, bam, bam, there we go, perfect! Now, my well simple account is glitched, that's why it does say I'm up like $7,000 in the past day, and the past week, and the past month. And the past whatever one year five years that's why hey guys the time of recording of this video it is 10 p.m. on July 16th and the first stock is Allied Properties Real Estate Investment Trust guys so this one is a monthly dividend payer for me camera's about to get plug in the charger <laughs> okay guys anyways technically Allied Properties isn't a stock it's actually a REIT so you're not a shareholder, you're actually a unit holder, so you own a percentage of the revenue that they get from their properties. That being said, guys, I own 30 units of this REIT for a total value of $1,286. Yet again, Allied Properties does pay a monthly dividend, which pays me $4 per month, which equates to 3.76% annually. All right, guys, the second stock is BMO Bank of Montreal. Guys, this is another dividend stock I do hold in my Canadian stock portfolio account. I own 21 shares of BMO for a total value of $1,585, guys. The current PE ratio of this company is t only around 10 to 11. Guys, if you're trying to buy some shares of BMO, now is the best time to do it right now as the prices are cheap, interest rates are low. That's why the banks are kind of lurking around this, these price ranges. But soon enough, the prices are going to be shooting back up and I'm going to be collecting all of those nice gains plus the dividends that they're gonna be paying me every quarter. BMO has been paying their dividend for 190 years straight, guys. And they have a dividend yield of 5.62%, which pays me $90 annually, which isn't too bad, guys, for just a $1,500 position. Building that up, it's gonna be a great time. I'm gonna enjoy owning this company down the road for sure. Number three, another bank stock, CIBC. Okay guys, this one is another crazy, crazy dividend payer, just like BMO. Spilt water on my shirt, but anyways, I'm currently holding 15 shares for a total value of $1,400 for CIBC. CIBC hasn't missed a regular dividend since its first dividend payment in 1868, guys. Like, are you kidding me? It's, uh, it's, it's free money. It's free money. Just keep giving me money. Like, honestly. CIBC does pay a, a 6.23% annual dividend yield, which pays me around $87 every single year. Its current PE is 10.32, which is really good. You guys, if you're looking to buy some shares, now's the time to buy them. So, am I gonna buy more shares? Yes, I'm gonna buy more shares, but after I build the Cheesecake Factory in a decently large position. Number four, Great West Life & Co. Guys, ticker symbol GWO. This is an insurance company that is another substantial dividend payer of mine. I hold 55 shares for a total value of $1,337. Great West Life Co. does pay a 7.25% dividend every single year, guys. Meaning, for 55 shares, I get $96 annually from Great West Life Co. Will I be buying more shares? Of course I'll be buying more shares, guys. Great West Life Co. is racking in like $2 billion every single year, even throughout COVID right now. They haven't really been affected at all, so... Yes, I'll be buying way more shares of JWO. Number five, Kiara Corporation, ticker symbol Key. Kiara Corporation is an oil and gas producer in Western Canada and transports natural gas liquids such as propane, ethane, and butane to markets throughout North America. Kiara Corporation is a monthly dividend payer and their annual dividend is 9.07% annually. That being said, guys, Kiara Corporation does pay me $105 annually, which is actually really good. These guys are consistent dividend payers, and they make their dividends a priority. All right, guys, that is all of my stocks in my Canadian portfolio account. I guess you could say it is a dividend portfolio. I would love to hear what you guys think about my portfolio. I'd love to add way more dividend payers. If you guys have any good, great stocks that you guys have, leave a comment in the comment section i will check it out and see how i feel about the company all right guys that is the end of the video today make sure you guys do like comment and subscribe to the channel you guys will not regret it and have a great day